This is a brand new 2025 Toyota Tacoma with a turbocharged four cylinder. Hi, I'm Lake, the Motor World Geek. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do with my own vehicle. It has seven miles on the odometer. So I'm gonna take you through every step of how I would choose to do maintenance if this was my vehicle, because it actually is. The first thing I'm gonna do is consult the owner's manual to see what viscosity and spec of oil to use in this new engine, because the first oil change is coming right now, right around 500 miles, because the most amount of normal wear in an engine is actually during break-in. And the only way to really get that out is to change the oil. Unfortunately, your oil filter will not remove all of those break-in contaminants. So the only way to get them out is to change the oil. So we're not just gonna change the oil once here at 500 miles, we're also gonna change it again at 1,500 miles, and then again at 3,000 miles. So the first step in our early oil change is take it for a drive to get the oil warmed up. If I get the oil warm, the viscosity goes down, which means it will drain out faster. So the owner's manual did have some really good tips in terms of you know, break-in of a new engine, or vehicle for that matter. Don't stomp on the brakes hard, you know, don't do a lot of heavy braking. Drive the car like normal, gently. Get it up to operating temperature. Then you do want to give it some throttle because in order for the piston rings to break in properly, you need to be near peak torque. So peak torque is peak cylinder pressure. And piston rings break in due to that high pressure applied, breaking in the cylinder wall, right? The hone in the rings get it most of the way there. That last little bit of finishing touch of break in comes from the pressure from peak cylinder pressure. So if you're not at peak cylinder pressure, if you're not accelerating driving with some throttle, you're never gonna get there. So it's important to not drag race, but give it some throttle. So the primary reason for choosing this vehicle is this engine, that turbocharged direct injection four cylinder engine. So the oil we're gonna be using is the Toyota Zero W20. Use the owner's manual as your guidance point. When you have data that says you can do it better, follow that. It's as simple as that. Again, we're all about the science here, not speculation. Follow the data. 